It's Sunday, it's 24 degrees out, and we're off on another adventure. Is that Road Z or Roads? Moo! Moo! If need be, we'll come back here. There's uh, dispersed camping out in this area. I imagine probably back over there past the porta potty but hopefully at weather's uh, trailhead there's gonna be some uh, spots available to us this time of year so something a little bit different today we are in the southeastern portion of Colorado or south of La Junta uh, not that far away from the Oklahoma border we're in the Comanche grasslands uh, Comanche National Grasslands uh, here at uh, Withers Canyon and we're gonna do the picket wire trail that's an out and back trail all trails has it for 16 miles uh, we're not doing the whole thing we're just gonna go out to we're just gonna go out to a specific location and uh, uh, turn around and come back there's, uh, there's a few cool things to see along the way, so let's get started. Well, this is the first time hiking a landscape like this for me. It's pretty cool though. Hey, uh, trust me, I love my mountains. But this is a nice change of pace so far. Uh, hopefully it's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, a few historical things along the way. And you'll see when we get there. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm a history buff, so. Find out about my state better. Stay tuned.
Is that some cool looking scenery or what? Kind of expect a posse of cowboys to come riding up on me. Looking for the bandit to help up stagecoach. So far so good. I'm digging this. This is really cool. Uh, probably going to crank out some 20 minute miles because it's nice and flat. Noticeable difference is when you're hiking in the mountains, you look down a lot because of the rocks. You got to see where you're stepping. Out here, I can just kind of look around and enjoy things. If you say the right words in Dwarvish, the door opens up. That's kind of a little indication of where we're going now. Yeah, there's dinosaur tracks up here. That's our final destination. Could you imagine that, though? Things that big roaming this area around here? Holy cow. Yeah, that must have been impressive. found another fossilized print. Looks like it belongs to the Hycosaurus. Well, it looks like we're about two miles out. Uh, we should be coming up to that homestead that we saw earlier. And at that point, we just go around the corner, up out of the canyon. Well, I got my tent set up some water here for my peak 
be stroking off. Oops. Kind of glamping today. Have my three-person tent set up. And uh, even though it's a 20-degree bag, I've got a whole bunch of blankets, uh, bag liner, everything else. So it's going to get definitely into the 20s tonight. But, you know, with all that stuff, I'll be fine. It's very windy up here. Yeah, pretty windy up here right now. So, uh, hopefully it won't be that bad tonight. Like I said, I mean, my, my pad's a 4.5 R value, plus I have some wool blankets uh, on the bottom of the tent. And I've got a bag liner, a couple, uh, a couple of nice blankets there from Climate. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to be fine. Good morning, everybody. Slept great last night. It's about uh, a little bit after 6.30 in the morning. And uh, I'm going to pack up and get ready to head on home. It was a good trip. Heading home. And for those of you who have never seen those before, those are cattle guards. So that way, you know, vehicle traffic can still use the road, but those little bars on, oh geez, that's bumpy. Uh, those little bars there keep the cows from crossing. Genius. Okay, made it back home. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if so, you know, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe and click the bell so you can get notified of when I post new content. Uh, if I don't talk to you guys, have a happy Thanksgiving, and uh, we'll see you after then. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.